It's Christy Alley, and I got my wisdom tooth pulled. Yay! why not make this video a little vloggy um mainly because i'm lazy and just don't know if i'm gonna have everything put together um for like a video like as far as my montage and stuff goes um so i just figured i would do vlog face right now i got off of work an hour early um so i am cooking my dinner veggie burger or veggie burger why do i always call it that it's a turkey burger um, so I'm in the process of heating up everything to make that. This week, I was not able to work out much, mainly because I hurt myself. I don't know exactly how I did it, but I did it. And my thigh is killing me. I don't know if maybe it's a pulled muscle or something like that. But it happened. So I can't do any of the workouts that I planned for this week, like my Ann 8 Fitness. I was really excited to do their Ariana Grande video, but hurt myself. Hopefully it's better so I can do it later this week because I get my wisdom teeth out this weekend and I won't be able to work out this weekend. I actually get it done Monday, or not Monday. <laughs> get it done Friday so I'm not gonna be able to work out this weekend and I do have a birthday party to go to Saturday so hopefully I'm okay for that <laughs> I should be fine but then again who knows I was able to do a little grow with Joe before it happened <laughs> um I'm wondering if maybe I hurt myself whenever I was doing yoga because I did some poses that are not easy <laughs> Fun fact I've come to realize, I have been selling myself short <laughs> with my milk. Um, I thought I was eyeballing it. I'm sorry, I'm a little shaky. thought I was eyeballing it correctly, but this is a whole eight ounces. Um, and I've been just doing it to like just over the line. And really it should have been double the line this whole time. Right, so I'm doing it on a bed of spinach. And I've got my pepper jack cheese and my that smart ketchup. It's probably about a tablespoon, but as we learned with my milk, I probably did not eyeball that correctly. But it's okay. Still gonna eat it. It's really good. I like it. So, yeah, that's my dinner. So I just got home from the store, got my soft foods for the next however many days I can't eat solids. It's not much, but it's something. So. Yeah, I had to get some sugar freeze too because these are all loaded with sugar. But yeah, I'm ready. I do also have like um, mashed potatoes and stuff like that that I'm going to make as well. So I'll be all right, I think. I'm not gonna be able to shoot anything, so I just feel like this is the best thing that I can even do for myself. So. So I'm trying to drink some bone broth because I stopped bleeding so much, but it's still difficult. It only has nine grams of protein, but I needed some of them. I had to let it like cool down to room temperature because I can't drink anything super hot right now. I thought I had a bunch of hair in my mouth and I was freaking out earlier. Glad I didn't pull it because it's freaking stitches just dangling around. And if I'd have pulled that, I probably would have stopped bleeding more. I have a whole bunch of goodies, though. Kevin got me some gauzes. A bunch of different kinds of gauzes. And so, from tomorrow... But yeah, I got a bunch of stuff to help me with this. I'm really not that swollen. More so on my that side. <laughs> but it does hurt to me in my mouth. Waiting until 28 to get these out, probably not a good idea, but they're gone, so <laughs> there's that. Alright, I'm ready to see something grow. 
and now it's time to gauze it up. I really need to walk thinly though. I'm not supposed to be doing cardio, so I'm gonna like <laughs> walk him really slowly. I'm using the Band-Aid Cushion Care gauze pads and so I just cut it in half because they're so thick. And then apparently you're supposed to get it a little wet to prevent the dry socket. So here's the one. Makes me want to puke. So one concern that I've run into after my wisdom teeth were removed is the lack of food that I've been able to consume. Um, it's difficult only eating soft or liquid foods when you're so used to eating like four to six times a day solid foods. Um, for me, it pulls my mindset back to the early days. I can't speak for other people, of course, because um, everyone is different. But for me, it just takes me back to the days of disordered eating um, when it was very limited on the calories that I was consuming. Um, I'm only consuming like a thousand calories a day right now, give or take. Um, and it's very concerning for me because it takes me back so back then like for instance for lunch i'm just eating like bone broth and applesauce and i caught myself saying this is a good lunch you should do this more often it is not good it's only like 150 calories something like that maybe 200 if you eat two applesauces um so it's a very disordered way of thinking and i'm just kind of nervous that this could carry on past the healing stage of my mouth like once i'm able to eat solid foods what if I stick with the soft foods because that's easier, because I liked the weight that I lost, because I liked how thin I felt when I woke up, etc. Obviously, there are medical reasons as to why you have to eat solid or liquid foods whenever you get your teeth removed. Um, there are specific things that you can and cannot eat whenever you have lost those teeth. But at the same time, coming from my past with disordered eating and still having not the best relationship with food, it's causing some issues with me mentally. So I just wanted to be transparent with that. Ideally, you're only supposed to be doing this for like three to seven days, depending on how bad your mouth feels. Today is day three for me. Um, my mouth does feel a little worse than it did yesterday and the day of the surgery. Um, Hopefully, though, it'll feel better tomorrow. It's a short amount of time before you're able to start reintroducing solid foods into your diet. Um, so ideally, this is not something that you're going to be doing, you know, for a long period of time. But do you see where I'm coming from? Maybe you don't, and that's okay. Um, that just might mean this message isn't for you exactly. Um, but just where I feel in my journey right now, I do just feel a little concerned with the lack of food and how my body is getting used to that. Like this morning, I didn't even wake up hungry. Normally, I wake up ravenous, but today it's like forcing myself to drink my milk with, you know, the breakfast essential powder in it. My whole purpose for saying this, again, is just to be transparent and just to let you guys know where I'm at with my journey right now. This week, of course, I have not really been working out much, um, but it's okay considering I'm not eating much either. <laughs> um, I am, of course, still walking thinly and getting my miles in for the day, um, but it's at a slower pace, so it's taking a little bit longer than usual. But I do just want to wrap this video up with a big thank you for watching my videos and for following me through this. Um, I just want to, you know, be able to reach somebody, even if it's just one person that's still reaching somebody. So thank you for giving me this opportunity. I do hope you enjoyed this video and that something may have spoken to you. Um, please give this video a like, comment, and subscribe so you can stay in touch with my journey so far. The next video might be a little more entertaining, um, but just thank you so much for bearing with me. And I hope you guys have a great week.